Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with... Aaron. And Armin, and we're from Cruise Coffee Company. Okay, you two, I, I want to know, so this is pretty new, Cruise Coffee Company, right? Like, how long have you guys been in existence? So we've been here about three weeks since our grand opening. Three weeks? Yeah. Super soon. So what is what was like the genesis behind you saying, I want to create this coffee company and serve amazing coffee, which, you know, and let's hold on for a second. I don't drink that much coffee, and I'm not just saying this for the video. This is super good. What am I actually drinking right now? So today you're drinking our medium, which is a blend between our Peruvian and our Brazilian. And it, it draws a nice balance between what we look for in kind of a, a toastier dark roast, but also get that chocolatey, rich flavor. It's super good. Okay, I'm sorry I digress here. But, uh, <laughs> but okay, what, what was the, the genesis, the idea behind, I want to create this, this coffee company? Originally, I was looking at food trucks. Okay. And, um... I thought that would be my next step. I've been a nanny for 25 years, okay. and I, w I was looking to do something different. Um, this place came up for sale, and I thought, wow, that has huge potential. Yeah. I met up with my roaster, we chit-chatted about what we could roast, came up with all our own roasts, and uh, put a menu together with some good food, and Cruise was born. Amazing. So. What was the idea behind what kind of coffee you wanted to create? Because, I mean, there's a lot of coffee companies. Santa Cruz is like becoming like a coffee you know, hub, almost. We have some pretty amazing yeah, coffee you know, brewers in town. What was like your slant or your like differentiator, I guess, for your coffee? So, uh, to start with, I really love all the coffee in town. And I definitely draw a lot of inspiration from folks like Cat and Cog, um, big fans. But um, what we were looking for and what I was talking with Erin about was she wanted to uh, kind of tap into a little bit of an old school feel and okay. and reach both the people that are interested in the the small details that make different coffees exciting but also get the, the people who just want their cup of coffee it's not hard to make a, a cup of coffee good and so we're just trying to make a strong cup of coffee that people can rely on that's consistent that is also interesting um, that makes them think twice about uh, buying the 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 Folgers makes them think twice about. Um, Do people still buy that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, but like just, just uh, rebranding. Yeah. Just, just something that it's, it's not. We're, we're not looking to reinvent the wheel. We're just trying to make a good cup of coffee. Nice. So not only do you have coffee here, but you have food. What kind of food do you have here? So right now we're doing breakfast burritos. Oh. Uh, we do a classic. Everything's car theme. Okay. A classic is egg, cheese, potato. The uh, hog has bacon, and the lowrider has some um, cojita cheese and chorizo in it. We also do breakfast sandwiches on croissants from Cheesy. Uh, we have muffins and bagels from House of Bagels. And we are working on a rotating breakfast and lunch specials that will only be on our Facebook, Instagram, and you'll get to know what in-house yummy stuff we are creating nice. for the day. And you don't even have to get out of your car. You can drive right up, right? That's correct. You can drive here and just get your breakfast burrito. I like that you have different kinds. You have um, breakfast burritos with meat and non-meat for the vegetarians, mm -hmm. so that's nice. So, okay, I'm gonna ask you, like, a, I didn't prepare you for this, but it's been, you've been open three weeks. What's been the challenge? What, what's like the best? Yeah. How long what, do you have? Yeah, how long do you have? I mean, there's to open up any business, there's like it's always harder than you think. What is yeah. some, one of the things you can think of that was the challenge? I think mostly letting people know we're on the map. Okay, yeah. So that's what we're doing Marketing. right now, and we're coming out hard and strong. <laughs> we have doubled our sales since our grand opening. People are coming through, they're getting to taste our coffee and try our food, and they know that. We're, we're some competition out here now. So. Nice. That's good. Okay, so we want to let everybody know where you are because <laughs> sometimes they don't. Because they don't know they go down this little hill right here. But, um, you're in Scotts Valley. Where in Scotts Valley are you? 75 Mount Hermon Road, right off the Mount Hermon exit. And we're one minute from Highway 17, so it's even an easy commuter stop. It is. Okay. So um, I hope everybody comes out to, to try them. You, you're also going to be at a couple of our events coming up soon. And... Um, Really, I'm not saying this. I love this coffee. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank yeah. you. Happy to hear it. Thank you so much.